You're watching Film Courage, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hello there. Karen Gordon with Film Courage, the radio show, here with the wonderful John Paul Rice, producer of One Hour Fantasy Girl and The Magic Stone, also yes. with No Restrictions Entertainment. So, as uh, most people probably are aware of, the Old Spice video campaign mm -hmm. has kind of taken the nation and probably the world by storm. And it's an ingenious way to you know, build an audience. How are you building an audience for your work? What works? What doesn't? What's a waste of time? What do you cut loose? Uh, I think the, the most important part is the emotional connection that an audience can quickly have with something. And, and in evidence of the Old Spice, it's not just the gimmick or trickery behind it, but it's having a character that you really like. I mean, there's there's women that love this guy, and there's men that want to be this guy. And he's confident, and he's creative, and kind of has that charm and that flair. So that, that I think, really, aside from the, the visual aesthetics of what's going on, uh, are the, the connection of who do you want to be? And how do you feel and relate to the message of what that person is projecting? So um, I think one of the most effective ways for filmmakers to build an audience is to get clips, even if they're rough edit clips. Uh, they're not necessarily the finished product, but get those out there and start staggering them. Create different types of media where you really put a face and a name and a person um, on your uh, cast. So, for example, you do the behind-the-scenes stuff. It could be even come after the, uh, the film is done, where you do cast and crew interviews. Really just to, and it's not just so that you can create all these different videos, but with people that you relate to and you go, I like these people. The underlying thing is, is that I like these people, and they're doing something, if I'm not a filmmaker, and I'm not into the film industry, but I'm, I'm a, a participant in this, this form of art, that I'm relating to these people going, I like who they are and I like what they're doing and they're doing something cool that's different and new. Um, I think that's a very, very strong uh, way to reach people. I, I've seen it uh, in what we did with One Hour Fantasy Girl. We did exactly that and, and it proved itself not just in sales but people starting to talk more about it. It gave people options so that we're not just watching the trailer or a clip. But now we're talking with other people and seeing who they are as people in their professional uh, life, but also in a personal way, delivered in a very personal, emotional way. I think some of the things that uh, are, if you say, throwaways or waste of time, um, I think that if you don't have the content behind it, that any, it doesn't matter what platform you're on or what, uh, you know, gimmicks you create, if it's, and I'm not saying calling it this, but transmedia, for example, is used as a ploy to get people in, but not really in a thoughtful way. And what's one of the great things that I'm seeing right now, and this is this is with uh, the Tilt movie, and the fundraising, is that they've created the Tilt Town. And there, there are new stories that keep emerging from that. And I think that's a really smart way for people to stay engaged in this process while they're funding the film to play around in this world and kind of get um, into the movie a little bit more. It's almost like a, a further extension of what the story will end up being and, and it builds this excitement for how it will turn out. I think those are really smart and they don't cost a lot of money, it's just your time to really do something unique like that. Um, I think that uh, you know, trying to reach out to other people who are not mutually invested in what you're doing is a, is a waste of time. Um, I think that you know, right now the main focus for people to try to connect with an audience is going directly to them rather than to try to reach up to an establishment that already has its own concerns financially and with content um, to try to get them to pay attention to you that really doesn't directly benefit them and that's across the board. Um, I think that you have to go out and find your Oprahs, your influencers, the people that are um, your biggest champions. And those people could even be fans. They don't have to be these high, already established authority figures, but really getting your audience involved, asking for people who've seen your movie to give a review, 
um, get them to talk to you about other movies, um, and and really exchange and share ideas. I think that's the foundation of a relationship. Um, when you don't have all this money and this marketing and this media behind you, is how do you create the excitement? It starts with the content, and then it's how you're going to go forward and try to connect with those people. So.